Hello, this is Lucia with Como. I'm here to show you the QPC 50W wireless document camera today. We've gotten a couple requests on that. What's the best practices to use this for remote learning or remote presentations? Um, so hopefully you'll find this video informative. Number one, when you receive the document camera, you'll get a document camera probably folded up like this. You can use a document camera in this position. It'll show your face upright. Um, if you want to do any recordings, you can go ahead and flip it like that. But if you want to capture your documents, you can flip it over um, and the camera will be parallel to your document so you can display whatever you want. A couple of things to know on the wireless document camera is that the top over here is the light switch. The bottom down here is the on off button. Over here is a charging port, so this is where you can connect a USB AD cord to. And then on the side over here is um, the name of your Wi Fi network and the password. Next, you'll find a wireless dongle. So, this is used to add another wireless card into your computer. So, with this, you can go ahead and plug it in. To your USB port. After plugging in your wireless dongle um, and downloading the necessary drivers, you might see a little drop down right here. So your original Wi-Fi is connected to whatever it's usually connected to. And the drop down, which might say Wi-Fi 3, 4, 2, um, it, it might show up as different than this. Um, this is where you connect your document camera to. So, like I mentioned, um, go ahead and turn on your document camera using the on-off switch. Um, if it doesn't come on, it might be because it's not charged, you can plug it in and charge it and still set it up. Or you can um, you know, wait for it to charge a little bit and then come back to this step. So once you have uh, your camera on, it takes a minute for it to actually come on and um, be viewable. There we go. It's right here. You can connect to it. Um, the network key is on the side of your document camera. So you can go ahead and type in your network key. Press next, connect to it. You'll have to also make sure that the KeyView wireless is downloaded. So uh, the best way to make sure that you have everything downloaded is to go to the Como website, to como.com and search it right here for KeyView software. Um, if you have Mac, you can download it right here. This is Windows. Once you have it downloaded, you can launch it. There is a light on the top that you can press that might change the brightness of your document depending on your lighting. Then you can go ahead and you can show your document. To use the wireless document camera with Zoom or any other type of um, video conferencing software, so you can go ahead and launch a meeting. Once your meeting is launched, you can click share screen. Um, and share your desktop or you can share your wireless document camera software share and then this will allow you to share your document camera with your audience when you're done sharing you can click stop share and exit your zoom meeting
Another question um, or another tip for using the wireless document camera is renaming this drop down menu. So to do that, you can go into your network and internet settings. Change adapter options. You can select your um, this network and click rename. And I can rename this to um, Como, or let's name it to Doc Cam. Como Doc Doc Cam. And it's good to note that generally you can't put spaces in your wireless network name. So go ahead and press enter. And now when I come over here, I'll see that it says combo.cam. So that makes it a little bit more straightforward for me. I know which drop down to connect my wireless document camera to and which drop down to connect my normal internet to. Well, this concludes my tutorial on how to set up the camera and use it with Zoom. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Um, you can reach us at hello at como.com. Thank you.